How's it going guys? Bibi here with my first impressions of Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl. So this series, right off the bat, seems really interesting. I thoroughly enjoyed the first episode. It's about a girl that is a celebrity. She gets all of this attention from lots of people and then one day she realizes that on specific days of the week, people can't see her and so she decides to test this theory out by dressing up as a bunny girl and walking through a library which our main protagonist Sakuta he sees her he is the only person that can see her for some reason and uh, so he starts speaking to her her name's Mai and um, Mai explains this and he's kind of intrigued and then he realizes that she hasn't been turning up to school it looks like that things have been getting a bit worse because it's not on just a random day of the week. It is pretty much every day and for like two weeks no one could see her and uh, things are getting really, really bad. And so he decides to help her figure out what's going on. I hope that towards the end we kind of learn a little bit more about it. The one thing I will say about the series is that it is the second series that I have noticed that the name that I gave you guys earlier um, isn't the same as what's actually on screen. What's on screen is puberty syndrome at normal experience. So um, I could see people call, calling this puberty syndrome. Um, but yeah, what Crunchyroll is calling it, Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl. So um, the other series that did this I think it was last year. Was it last year that this series released? Um, MMO Junkie. What Crunchy called it was the recovery of an MMO Junkie, which is kind of deceptive because it really wasn't a recovery. It was a, I, I suppose you would say, a relapse into being an MMO Junkie. What it was actually called on the screen was the recommendation of a wonderful virtual life or something along those lines. So, um, yeah, kind of weird. Maybe they changed it for marketing reasons. I don't know. Um, but yeah, either way, looking past that, the series is great. Love the story, love the concept, really interesting. The art style is nice, it's crisp. I'm pretty sure it's A1 Pictures, so not surprised about that. I could be wrong. If I'm incorrect and it's done by another studio, please let me know. I'm like 98% sure though. Either way, I'm loving this series and I'm definitely going to keep watching it and uh, let you guys know what I think about it at the very end. So, are you guys continuing to watch the series? What do you think of it? Let me know down in the comments below. I look forward to reading them all. While you're there, make sure to hit the like button. Check out all my social media links down in the description below. And if you haven't checked out my last video already, make sure to do so. Click the link just there. Or you can click the box just down here for another one of my videos. If you want to help out the channel and donate, you can do it one or two ways. You can either donate through Ko-Fi for a one-off donation, or you can become a patron of mine and get an awesome shout-out just like Asperger Bear, Bernard, Linwood, Moji and Lou's Corner. They're all awesome bibliotheers and you can become one as well. So from my Tomeki guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!